Hello my friends, Wendy here, the Crafty Coach, and I have happy mail today. I got lots of it. I've been involved in several swaps through Crazy Island Family on Facebook, um, and I'm having the time of my life with this um, group of people. Um, check them out. Um, a lot of fun. And um, my first package was from Susan B. from Citrus Heights. And all the napkins I've received in the swapped are just one of a kind. And I don't have any repeats. And I love every single one. And I'm going to have fun making something with these. So if you aren't part of family, Crazy Island family, check them out on Facebook. It's a really fun group. It's family. Um, there are a lot of swaps ongoing all the time. And some of them you can jump in at any time. And some start every month. There's an embellishment swap that every month there's a new theme. And um, I'm involved with that one. And this was the napkin swap. Love that. Just imagine what kind of mixed media art journaling I can do with that. Lots of possibilities. And also, some of these are not my my normal colors, so it's going to push me out of my comfort zone a little bit to try to come up with, um, you know, pages for this. And this one was from Tassera, or Teresa, I'm not sure how she pronounces her name, in Wichita, Kansas. And I don't know why it's blurry. There we go. Isn't that lovely? And I believe there were four people, five people including me, in this napkin swap. And I think it was ten napkins that we were swapping per person. And none of them are repeats, which is very interesting because I thought there would be at least one or two that were duplicates, but not a single one are duplicates, which is pretty fantastic. All these I can create some art journals with. I love the hearts. So happy. Some more hearts. And this one is my favorite. Oh my gosh, is that just gorgeous? Love. And then there's some different ones inside. Oh, that's going to be scrumptious to do something with. And this one was from Leslie D. in Westminster, Colorado. And it looks like she decorated the outside of the package. I think that might be a jelly plate. And she decorated that and that's so cool because I don't have a jelly plate and she sent me a ton of little I guess um, ephemera is what this is called just a lot of different there's a tag and those are my colors and I love this all these things can be put into art journals, mixed media, some stamps, some butterfly, lots of little stars. Oh, just lots of yummies. And thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. 
I love this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know, and it looks like this is handmade by her. And it's just, I love it. And some pretty, looks like Japanese papers. Just, just a mixture of a lot of different things. Goodness. Lots of yummies. Some stripes. Flip flops and sandals. That screams summertime. Seashells. Love seashells. That will be fun. And some candy canes. Yum. Purple. Hydrangeas, I guess that's what that is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And a lily. That's pretty. And a nice little flower star. I like that. And some holiday decorations, ornaments. Ooh, and this is a nice background piece. And blues. And then this is a, almost looking like a quilt pattern. That's very pretty. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And this is from Karina B. in Germantown, Maryland. Ooh, that's cute. Little flamingos. And there's a little different things in the back. And a black and white with little delicate flowers and birds. Very pretty. Ooh, and this is like a nautical theme. Like a little compass. That's really cute. Some flowers and more butterflies. And some scallopy. That would be a great background. And some stripes and blues and greens. Love that. Another black and white pattern. Here are paisleys. That's very pretty. <clears throat> More flowers. Ooh. And this is like tissue paper. <clears throat> um, kind of like a wood grain. Well, what's that? There's a tree. And I can't remember the name of the tree that has this kind of wood graining and, and the branches. It's one of my favorite trees and I can't even think of it right now. I love when the brain just completely walks away. And some pastel dots. That's cute. Love that. Thank you very much, Karina. That was wonderful. And I got Happy Mail. I think just for the heck of it, from Larry Joe in Amarillo, Texas. Nice little ribbon. And I know she's in one of my swaps, but I don't think it was the napkin swap. I think it was the, the letter journal swap that we're in. And I think she just sent this just because, and this is wonderful. And I love these apples. This is be a fun page. And maybe this might be my first repeat, but this is one that I actually really love, so that will be gorgeous. Some more flowers, like poppy flowers, California poppy. Some hearts. Hearts are one of my favorite motifs. And just some blank, or not blank, but book pages. And these are great to journal on, to paint on. 
looks like these are from children's books. That's really cute. Look at this one. Oh, look at those little ducks. Is that cute or what? I love ducks. I had two ducks growing up. We named them Donald and Daisy. And my dad built this killer pond in our backyard. But it wasn't fun picking up duck poo. It was kind of a messy, messy deal, but love the ducks. Some maps. Ooh, I wonder if this is telling me I should go back to school. At first I thought this was a piece of writing and the teacher was marking red on my homework. But it's been ripped out of a book. So, I'm safe. I didn't actually make all those mistakes. But that is cool. That is very cool. And some blank pages. And I'm pretty sure she did this with her jelly plate. And I'm just wanting one of those so badly that is on my wish list. So funny, my family is listening. That is on my wish list. One of these jelly plates. That is so cool. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the happy mail and the little extras. And I don't want this on camera because this is my letter journal swap. And I'm not sure who's going to be able to see this, but I want to show you this, the envelope I got. And this is, I believe, on a jelly plate as well. Very cool. That came from Canada. And that is it for the happy meal. Happy meal. Happy mail. And... Um... I just became a Close to Your Heart consultant and I've been playing with my Cricut cartridge called Artiste and so I wanted to show you one of the first things I made is this little three-dimensional cake or I guess a pie holder which is more for decoration because it's made out of paper but I thought that was very cool my very first 3D object and then today, I was playing around on sizing. I made all these little borders. And these are one inch borders, so I've got to play around a little bit more. Although in an art journal, that might be perfectly a, a great size to use. And then some puzzle pieces. I think that is just so cute. And a little film strip. And I guess that's like a Harlequin diamond shape. Where is my camera? And a little teeny tiny butterfly. And all these little things that I'm practicing on could actually go to people as happy mail as well as well if I can sorry I'm I'm exhausted today I did a garage sale for a few hours this morning and I'm ready for a nap that's a little mustache almost looks like a bra and um, some feathers very cute and I made a few different sizes of those. Here's a little teeny tiny one. And the feathers actually are, I'm trying to get one to go with this um, stamp set. And um, yeah, I love this stamp set. Feathers are really trendy right now and hot, so I'm trying to come up with some ideas for my first party in a couple of weeks. And um, I appreciate you stopping by, checking out my happy mail. 
And if you're not already working with a consultant, um, I would love to work with you from close to your heart. And remember to find gratitude in the joys of friendship, the kindness of strangers, and the delight in what is possible. So enjoy your evening. Hope you subscribe and like this. And want to see anything in particular, give me an email, give me a comment, and I can try to put something together. Thanks. Have a great day.